Aloha! So, time for empties and this is mammoth. I have got so much stuff here because I've cleared out and I've thrown stuff away and I've just used so much up and I'm literally so proud of myself but this is probably going to be quite a long video so press pause, get yourself a cup of tea and then take a load off and let's do this. Let's get stuck in. Right, the first thing I have is three packets of the number seven wipes. Self-explanatory, I use them for cleaning my hands, sometimes taking my makeup off, anything like that. They're just really handy. I also really like them for making sure that like the tops of my foundations are nice and clean and all that sort of stuff and just making sure that everything stays nice and clean. So that's what I tend to use those for. Um, two of these, so I think I must have filmed a video and then literally used one up because one of these lasts me well over like six weeks because there's 60 pads in here and I use one a day. Very, very, very rarely do I use more than one a day. Probably, I can count on one hand how many times I have, but these are the Nip Fab Glycolic Fix pads. Um, I'm currently using them again at the moment. I love them. They exfoliate, they get rid of all the dead skin, but they're really nice and gentle. They lift my skin really soft, really fresh. I love them, they're amazing. I've already bought them. Obsessed. Um, a hairspray. This is the Infinium Lumi by L'Oreal. I was actually given this as a present and it was okay, won't rebuy it, wouldn't even know where to buy it but it did its job but that has gone. Um, a self tan that I used up and this was one of the ones that I was just trying to work my way through because I've got so many and this is the dark glowing self tan streak free natural colour from Sienna X. I love Sienna X but my local beauty supply store um, doesn't stock it anymore so you can only get it direct now so whether or not it's something I will continue to buy in the future I don't know I'm kind of on the fence especially as I've got some others that I prefer just or not prefer but I like just as much that kind of thing but this says that it was an anti-cellulite formulation to be fair I've never really self tan my legs because they go really brown I tend to use it on my top half more to make sure that everything's nice and even so I can't tell you about that but this is the dark tan one and it is a really nice even colour doesn't smell too bad, gorgeous formula. Um, a little mini of my BB Thickening Hairspray. This is one that I spoke to you about in my hair care video, which I will link down below. Um, this isn't a hairspray as in a finishing spray. This is something that you put on when your hair is wet. When you sort of like towel dried it before you hair dry it, you spray it on at the root. I do put a little bit through my ends as well and it just gives you a little bit of lift and texture, all that kind of stuff. Because my hair is so long now, um, nearly where I want it but not quite, um, and all one length because I don't like layers, I like using a little bit of this through the ends because it just gives it a bit of texture and a bit of oomph. So I need quite a lot of my, through my volumising products um, and this really, really does work. <coughs> That's better. Um, another empty, my Batiste Medium and Brunette Dry Shampoo. Love this stuff, use it all the time. Again, it's in my hair care video if you want to know more about it, why I love it, all that kind of stuff. But I've spoken to you about it hundreds of times, but that is another empty. See, I've done really, really well. I've used so much up. Um, this is my Paris More Bubble Bath from Bath and Body Works. And I hung on and hung on and hung on to this for the longest time and used all different bits and pieces in my bath and in my shower because I was trying to hold on to it but I finally admitted defeat and I used it up. I love the bubble baths from Bath & Body Works. They are so luxurious, they have gorgeous fragrances. There's one for everybody whether you like sweet or fresh or fruity and I just find that they give the best bubbles and they don't dry my skin out at all. They're absolutely fabulous. Now Sephora shipped to the UK, I think we should start a petition to start making Bath & Body Works ship to the UK because they're just amazing products and the fact we can't get them here makes me sad. But yeah, that was my Bath Paris or more, even not Bath more. Um, a couple of skin cares. Uh, my Bifacil eye makeup remover from Longcomb, I actually have two of these. Um, again, it must be like the Nip Fab, I must have literally been right at the end of one when I last did my video because these last me the longest time. But then was that the beginning of November? I can't remember. But anyway, two Bifacil, you give them a little shake, they remove everything off of your eyes really quick, really easy, they don't make my eyes sensitive, they don't make my eyes sore. It is more expensive than, say, Simple or Garnier or Bourjois or something like that, but the quality is amazing and I use so much less, so I really love these and I will continue to repurchase them 
probably on my points and things like that, but I love them. Gorgeous. Another skincare, Garnier Micellar Water. Something that we all need in our life, roll-on or deodorant of your choice. Um, I like the Stress Protect from Nivea. In the summer, I do like to double up and I do use a spray deodorant as well. In the winter, I don't need that so much, so I just go for my Stress Protect roll-on. Leaves me really fresh, smelling clean, everything we want from a good old deodorant. Two nail polish empties. My Nail Envy, which is literally on its last legs. It's right the way down at the very bottom where it says OPI, and it's so thick that there ain't nothing coming out of that bad boy. Still my base coat of choice, still one of my holy grail items. I will love it and use it forever. And then this is Fiji from Essie, and it looks like it's really full but it is probably to about here, there's probably about a third left, but because this has had so much love and it's one of the US bottles, so it's got the little thin brush, it just isn't applying well anymore. So it's time to admit that I need to get my new bottle out and I have and say goodbye to this little beauty. But as you know, Fiji is my all time favorite nail polish and will continue to be so. Just beautiful beautiful i think i decided to just seen better days is this and this is my revlon color stay foundation and this is in the shade rich tan nothing wrong with the product itself in terms of i like the way it wears it's good foundation all that kind of stuff probably my all-time favorite drugstore foundation however it's just been sat in my drawer for a little while and i decided that it needs to go to foundation heaven so this one's gone bye bye see you later okay i have been on a major concealer clear out because I seem to have dozens and yet I just was using the same ones over and over and over again and um, this is one of my collection lasting performance in the shade warm medium number three that I fell in love with thanks to my friend Sahar this one is completely empty there is nothing coming out of here and that was just from me using it every day I've literally fallen in love with this stuff I think it's amazing and I have got another one already on the go so that says enough about that um, this is my Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW30. Now, I'm not really sure why I bought NW30. When I was in the shop and I was buying this, because it was one of my actual trips to MAC, because I wanted a colour match, um, I was a little bit tanned, but I wouldn't say it was that colour, because I only wear NC35 foundation, so I don't really know why I got this. It did conceal and hide my under eye circles but it didn't brighten as much as I would like. Um, I like the concealer, I think it's amazing, however I don't love it as much as I think I would if it was in the correct colour, if that kind of makes sense, because it's always sort of stopped me from using it in exactly the way I want to. So I'm actually going to buy this in, I think I'm going to buy it in NW20, maybe 25 I will see. Um, I'm going to stick with the NW because it's more pinky, but that is my Pro Longwear Concealer, so that is all gone. It just looks like there's a little bit left in there, but there really isn't. The pump doesn't get any more out now. So I'm going to put that in my little Back to Mac stash. And then my all-time favourite drugstore concealer is the Age Rewind from Maybelline, and this is the one with the little clicky on it. Um, it's still clicking, but nothing's coming out now, so this one has seen better days. This was in the shade 10 Fair. Now, this was one of the ones that I got on import from the States, because I don't think we do Fair here. I think in the UK we do Nude and Light. Um, I would repurchase this. At the moment, I don't need it, so I'm not going to. I'm being very, very good. When I run out of something I love, if I don't need it now, I don't rush out and buy it. I would rush out and buy it if I needed a new concealer, but at the moment, I don't. So I'm just going to remember this one for when I do. One thing I have shared with you in quite a few favourites and spoken to you about quite a few times is this, and this is a Smashbox Layer Lash. Now, this one is empty and there's just a few little remnants around the side but bits that I can't get out and I have a fresh one because where it is a primer for your eyelashes and it's white it does get gunky quite quickly um, and just not look the best however when it's empty it really doesn't look very nice but I love this stuff I use it most days um, and I have another one already so that's the layer lash from Smashbox this is my little biddy, itty, 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 biddy 
Pinky Eye Bright from Benefit. Um, I used to, sorry about that, I used to use this underneath my eyebrows to like highlight and give me that nice sharpness under my brows. Um, I still do still do that. I do have another one that I'm currently using. However, there are other products that since I've first discovered this, I do like to use as well, but gorgeous product. I never liked it for its original intent, which I think was on the waterline. Um, I've just always used it under my brows, but it's a really nice pencil. It goes on really smooth. It's really creamy. Um, a mascara dried out seen better days uh, Jordana best lash extreme volumizing mascara now I had this before and I absolutely loved it but for some reason I don't anymore and I think the reason is I've discovered that it actually transfers and smudges under my eyes which I never noticed before and when I used it before I know it was definitely the summer um, it is really volumizing it's really lengthening it does take quite a lot to remove because it is such a thick and full formula which I personally like however it's not something I'm probably going to reorder simply because of the smudging under my eyes I don't get that with um, my eye brightening from Smashbox or the full exposure from Smashbox and I don't get it from my hip nose from Lancome so something I don't know if they've changed it or what's happened but not quite the mascara for me anymore um, this is a little mini hip nose from Longcomb that I got in a gift. Um, still probably my holy grail mascara. Love it. Volumizes, lengthens, everything. Beautiful. Um, and then this is the last one. And I got this as a little sample for doing a survey online on Mac, which I didn't even realise they did. I just came home one day and there was a little parcel for me and it had this in it for saying thank you. Um, but this is the Mac False Lashes Extreme Black. Um, I kind of got an idea of what it's like, but because the handle is so diddy, it did make it hard. Um, didn't really give me enough volume. Whether or not with um, a full-size tube, it would, because when I like mascaras, when they tend to dry out a little bit, and this does seem like quite a wet formula, I'm not sure. Something I might try in the future, but at the moment I'm going to hold off, but it was really nice to try that, because I've only ever tried one other um, MAC mascara, and I don't even know which one it was, but it really wasn't for me, it didn't do anything for my lashes. Whereas this did, just not enough for what I like. My last two things. Um, Lorac, Lorac, behind the scenes eye primer, I got this with my um, Lorac Pro 1 palette. Um, it's okay, I have better eye primers if I'm honest. And then this, which is Mighty Mouth from Soap and Glory, it's a lip balm plumper. Um, really, really love it, but this one has seen better days. So I'm actually going to replace this because this is something I used to carry around in my purse. I love having it with me and it's really gorgeous. And it's not one of the painful plumps, it's more of the minty. So, and it's just a really nice milky pink color. So very natural, very pretty, but also really nice and moisturizing as well. Oh my God, I forgot I have four candles. To share with you um where it's been christmas obviously i've been burning candles like mad um my first one is this and this is leaves and my friend abby actually bought me this for christmas in 2013 so i used it a little bit that winter and then i finished it off this winter and this is from bath and body works again oh it is amazing it is like apple cinnamon spicy gorgeous and i used to burn this in my bathroom and the smell would carry all the way down the stairs into the bedroom into the lounge literally it would go through the whole house absolutely beautiful and this is another reason that bath and body works have to deliver to the uk we need these candles in our lives now something i don't normally say but a candle from yankee that i was really disappointed with and this is peppermint swirls um I Instagrammed this when I got it because I was really excited. It was on offer in Clinton Cards. It was £17 on offer for 10 over Christmas. And it really didn't kick out any smell at all. It's a sweet peppermint and it is lovely, but it just didn't kick out any fragrance in the room at all. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed with that. And then two other that I do love both of again from Yankee, these were on the three for two in boots over Christmas which is why I purchased them. Um, this is the first one and this is the black coconut. Now this is quite a soft delicate fragrance so I used to burn this in my bedroom just because it was quite relaxing, quite soothing. I personally love the smell of coconut, it makes me happy because it reminds me of holidays. Um, did really really enjoy this gorgeous one and then the other, other one and the last item <laughs> eventually is this and this is black cherry and i'm actually burning the taller version of this at the moment just over there um it is exactly what it says on the tin it smells like a black a black cherry yogurt very fruity quite rich 
I would say more of a winter fragrance personally, but really enjoyed it. And it does kick out quite a bit of fragrance. I burn it in my bedroom and it does travel all down my hallway and down my stairs. So gorgeous. If you made it to the end of this video, well done. I'm so proud of you. You've done amazing because I know I've rambled a lot and I know that I had a lot of junk this month. Anyway, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you filmed one, tell me down below or leave me a comment, anything like that. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.